Okay, so the next bit I'm gonna blend these front and side panels together. So I'll quickly show show you how to do that. So so basically we're gonna define the lights first and drop a line down. I'll show you how to use this drop curve tool, but we will start with the line tool here. So it's a good idea to draw two points or three points around every corner that will help us to draw the lines accurately. You can always add more points or remove points. So Okay, so let's fix up the lights here. Take your time to work with lines. Drawing your lines accurately will help make your car model look a lot more professional, a lot more high quality. So here's the, the the line for the lights finish. We'll just drop the lines. So basically we draw that line on the front view. Now we drop it on the surface and cut it out. So select your line, select your surface and select your plane. This is the front plane. We we'll make sure we fix that up. And it drops the line there. And we're going to use the trim tool here select the surface, select the line and select the waist so there you go, That that's removed and we'll do that again for this the front panel as well drop curve so we drop a line there, now we'll trim that surface Select the surface and cut. Okay, so now we should be able to blend the two edges there. Edit definition and we'll blend these two surfaces together. So we can't seem to select the edge there, we just hide these lines here and blend surface make sure you hold control to select both surface okay so there you go that's our side and front panel finish and I'll do a quick rendering to see how it looks so I'll pick a scene It's always a good idea to check twice, make sure it's accurate before you continue so you don't want to go back and check the errors. And we'll go to render. So that's it, that's the result. It looks fine actually. Um, the bottom bit we don't actually want, we're going to remove that out. So that looks fine. And we just keep continuing okay okay now the next step is a bit more tricky we'll connect the bonnet with the majority of the shapes let me take some time to think about it okay so for this part here what you gotta do we're gonna make a line the rail lines there and the rail lines there but the problem is 
that this line and this line is separate we're gonna make that one and there's not a lot of tools that help us to do that uh, I've I found a hacker style way to make that line so what we want we need to blend this line with this line so how we're gonna do that is okay it's a good idea to pick the lines that you like first the line that will be more visible um, we, we need to keep that line accurate okay so to do this we gotta make a copy of this line we go edit make a copy select the line okay and we're gonna hide the previous line just in case in case we need to use it later on and we also make a copy of this line here as well copy okay and we're gonna find we'll hide the the other lines okay to do this what you need to do you go edit the lines and see how many points there are there's four points there and for this line we're gonna delete the parts that we don't need we select the point right click okay so right click and hold it and delete okay we might need to try sometimes it doesn't work we're going to try one point at a time select the point right click delete and we're going to make sure the lines in the right place when we change the line so just quickly put it back into place okay now how we're gonna do this is we're gonna add four lines to this line and put it in exactly the right place so the curves are matching so to do that just right click add point and just put it roughly in the right place so that's two we need three more okay there you go so this four point and how we put it on the right place just drag it close to there Okay, the next step, the trick to do this is you just gotta work with coordinates. So we we'll select this point and we we'll copy all these coordinates and paste onto the other other point. So just copy it onto Notepad. So this is just for accuracy. If we keep the lines right on top of each other, the surface blends a lot nicer. It's a bit tedious, but that's what you're gonna do to keep keep a nice quality on your work. So we'll put that coordinate on this point here. So copy and paste into place. And do that for the other points and your line should be better. I'll, I'll just pause that and speed through this task quickly
So the line doesn't seem to match right on. We just manually edit. Uh, can't seem to find a workaround around this. So we just gotta do our best. So just drag, drag that line into place. Okay, so I got my curve there as best as I can to match the two surfaces. Now that will be the two rails for which for us to create the sweep across, and we just gotta draw in the the pro profile curves. So I'll do that now. So it should be one there. Check your points, make sure the points connect. Yep, that looks fine. Okay, we'll test that out now and surface, click your rails and click the profile. There you go, it looks fine. So we just put more fo profile here to define the shape better. But that's starting to turn out to starting to turn out like uh, turn out the shape. It looks fine there. So I'm just gonna go through at the other profiles and redraw the shape. So...